Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConaughey at YouTube with a, another model review. Today we are doing a review on the 4D models eggplane range, particularly the kit the J15. This line of eggplanes are a carbon copy or bootleg of the Hasegawa line, though they only do four subjects revolving around uh, Russian Chinese aircraft with completely original box art design and accompanying uh, character girl. I don't know if it was originally commissioned or lifted. They do differ from the uh, famous um, anime artist of the Hasegawa boxes. The biggest difference between the 4D and the Hasegawa is they're pre-painted and the markings are already applied where Hasegawa comes with a higher quality box, separate instructions and water slide decals. Inside the box you're equipped with two painted runners, only coloured in one side. The plastic is reclaimed ABS, can be a bit tricky to work with but with enough glue and sandpaper it's not a big deal. Snap together, looks reasonable enough, you might want to hand paint a few tiny details and the little figure inside, you get two choices of an anime girl or a pilot head. A third piece of a clear canopy, done pretty well and snaps right in place, as well as instructions, the actual layout and process is exactly the same from the Hasegawa version. It generally all snaps together, glue is not 100% required. And with the markings, the colouring, the masking, as well as the detailed panel lining already done, it generally is pretty passable for those who only like to snap their models together and not do any further painting or work. It's pretty much a toy that you snap together in less than 10 minutes. However, I'm going to go a lot further as I do with my other videos and treat it more like a cheaper version of the Hasegawa kit and dig up my own decals. This comes together very easily so I didn't pay much attention to the instructions and went in the most tactical manner possible. I assembled everything that had the seam which is pretty much the two halves of the fuselage and the little figure inside cementing them together with Tamiya white label cement. Once dried, filled the seam lines and the very next day sanding it all down clear. I'm able to clean up every other item by removing the nub, snapping it together and test fitting to get ready for painting. With uh, a lot of the sanding and gluing, the uh, paint and markings were pretty much instantly ruined. Once the nubs were all removed, cleaned up and sub-assembled, I noticed there were quite a few visible ejector pin marks as well as sinks on the surface detail. The eggplane range is quite old by Hasegawa with an original artistic box art and were re-released later with the iconic anime girls at the front depicting the sort of pilots uh, utilizing them. Newer models do come out. This was treated by applying putty over it, Mr. Dissolve Putty, and sanding it back the very next day. Other small details uh, such as wheels and whatnot were glued together, but the whole assembly would be added to the model after it's been airbrushed and painted. Same with the missiles. Mounted everything on clips, then airbrushed the whole lot in Tamiya Grey Lacquer Primer. Looked for sunken seams and leftover imperfections, hit it with a bit of Mr. Dissolved Putty, sanded the next day and finally retouched up with Primer via airbrush. Next a hole was drilled at the bottom of the figure so I could mount it up. Very very basic brushwork as it won't be too visible through the canopy. Hand painted some very basic details, the hair, face, uniform. Moving on. Airbrushed the rear thrusters, masked up the canopy, airbrushed the whole body in Mr. Color EX Metallic Gold. Came out absolutely beautiful in two passes. Had the paint for a long time, never had anything to use it on till this. Before hitting the fuselage, the nose was painted silver for clear coat. Max amount of time allowed to dry, masked 
then sprayed. Rest of the steps involve getting the finish, the panel lines, and the small detail right. Hand painted in lacquer white the missiles, the landing gear in silver, road tire rubber for the wheels, sprayed a bit of uh, blackening into the vents, as well as uh, hand painted the void in the cockpit, the seat, black, all that sort of stuff sprayed everything with uh, gloss lacquer clear now moving on to the decals before a certain hobby shop closed i picked up a few decal sets this particular one a mig killer for about a dollar really really happy about it unfortunately being as old as it was dipping it in water made it completely dissolve which was uh, disappointing i had the right uh, chinese military markings the numbers and all that sort of stuff so i had to give that up even though applying a clear coat to some of it it just smudged all over the place so this particular set of decals is absolutely useless abandoning some legitimate aftermarket decals from way back jumped on some real cheap ebay chinese decals and they worked an absolute dream with some numbers that i've had uh, from a proven working old decal set applied it with no issue gave everything a sludge wash and settled it with future floor acrylic for that nice just finished shine the canopy was also pva glued now unfortunately the inner part of the canopy fogged up and had a little bit of uh, white residue from the glue this disappointed me quite significantly i put the model down and uh, didn't look at it for two weeks when i came back hopefully it cleared up it did that exactly also with future it may fog up in some areas or look a bit dodgy i do know after a week it takes that long for future to chemically set then it came out absolutely perfect during the other layers, there was also a buildup of uh, lacquer clear, so it's got a nice, deep, wet, nearly flawless shine, and the Mr. Color EX Metallic really sets it off beautifully. And uh, overall, the whole finished piece, very, very happy. The model did take a while to finish, but each session I worked on it has been extremely short, no more than 20 minutes, a half an hour putting it aside worked on something else picked it up during the next session it did take a couple of months though the total hours would have only been about four five ish i would say as nothing went wrong and i didn't have to buff sand polish or remove anything besides the decals failing but that never actually made it onto the model realistically the experience is going to be the same if you go for hasigawa or 4d if you just intend to snap it together no paint no real effort 4d all the way if you really want those uh, decals it is worth to uh, shell out a little more for the hasigawa version as their markings are quite uh, lovely and i suppose the seams and all that would be a better fit really enjoyed it these eggplants are a lot of fun pretty simple and very quick to just really bang out unless you're going for the full masking color job or complicated schemes which if you're proficient enough with an airbrush shouldn't be that much of an issue if you're practicing perfect project to have a go at before you go at that more complicated long-term aircraft build i think everyone should uh, get a crack at an egg plane they're just so much uh, fun and whatnot if not there's tank and other variants out there I've also seen caricature uh, figures and in the uh, mecha anime world your SD Gundam line kits which there's just numerous from uh, the vintage days to the newer lines today. Really with these simple builds you can go as slow and easy as possible doing a straight build fit rattle can scheme or hand paint or really go all out scratch building little extras details better landing gears seat belts adding articulation or redoing their proportions panel lines and whatnot it's really up to you and some of the more bipedal stuff going into articulation and extra bits or proportions it's really your cup of tea depending on what your subject you definitely got an alternative in this world in there 
Thank you very much for watching. As always, until next time, stay tuned for further content. We are always uh, uploading and we're always around. Happy to answer questions in the comment section. Check out the links below for social media, Facebook, all of that jazz. Really happy how this uh, popped out. It was almost too easy. We'll catch you guys next time. See you later.